What is up guys and in this video I'm going to be going over how to create a new Django project. So first things first, navigate to the folder where you uh, set up your virtual environment uh, in the previous uh, video. Uh, and what you want to do is start that virtual environment. So uh, my vnv slash script slash activate. So now that we have our virtual environment uh, running, what we can do is create a new Django project. So Django admin uh, start project and the third parameter is simply the name of your project folder so usually people just say my site and put a dot at the end now you should see up to uh, uh, a folder and a file pop-up so this folder should be named uh, whatever you put uh, over here and this file is just manage.py now this is a very small file that pretty much allows you to run your Django project. So before you move forward, uh, make sure that you organize uh, both this folder and the manage.py folder inside another folder because you don't want things to get scattered around your desktop. That's gonna make things very messy. You wanna make sure all of your product files are stored in one uh, big folder. So I'm just gonna say first Django project. or uh, actually I'm just gonna say form form website so put all of uh, these two uh, files and folders inside this large folder so re-navigate to the location of the new folder that you created so CD desktop slash forum uh, website and over here uh, what you want to do is run your Django project so python manage.py run server. So you're going to know that everything is running properly if it says system check identify no issues zero silenced. Uh, so if you run your new Django project, it's going to say it worked. Uh, congratulations on your first Django powered page. Uh, before we move forward though, um, you want to make sure that uh, you run this command. Because you have unapplied migrations, your app may not work properly until they are applied. So you want to make sure that you run this command. So python manage.py migrate. And it's going to go through this pretty long list of commands that's going to apply all the migrations that you need. So once that's done, uh, just run python manage.py once again. So python manage.py run server. And uh, you're gonna know everything's working perfectly if you have this beautiful message popping up. System check, identify no issues, zero silence. And if you launch this, it's gonna work perfectly. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.